connecting the Raspberry Pi with a USB TTL serial cable. Now, maybe you don't know you can do this, but you can just connect to a Raspberry Pi directly using serial TTL cable that looks like this. They're only a couple of pounds on the internet. And you need a few extra wires as well. Uh, I, I do because my combination here doesn't match the combination on the pins here. So anyway, I'll just, the ones I need, the cables I need, uh, the colors I need, are red, so let's stick one in there. I need black, let's stick one in there. And uh, the green, that is for TX, and white, and that is for RX. Now the other end of those cables go directly into the Raspberry Pi. Go into the five volts here. Uh, okay, there the black goes into the ground, which is on there. The green goes into this uh, this one here, and the white goes into this one here. Now that's all you need to do. Ah, uh, no. Now we need to plug this end into the computer, and when I do that, we'll see that it will register as a new COM port. Okay, so we've got the new COM port, USB serial on port four. The Raspberry Pi is lit up now, we've got colors, we've got flashing. Now if we go over here, we wanna to connect to COM four using PuTTY and the board rate is 115200. Now when I open that up, we start getting a whole bunch of, whoop, we start getting a whole bunch of stuff. Don't worry about that. It looks different every single time I do this. You just have to wait a bit. There we go, that's my login prompt, pi, and my password. There we go. I'm now logged on to the Raspberry Pi using just the uh, the uh, USB TTL serial cable.